today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how to actually paint your trailer by using a roller and rolling it on rather than using a spray paint of some type. And I think you'll be really amazed at what you can do with rolling the paint on a trailer. It's, it looks almost as nice, quite honestly, as if you had it done professionally and if it was actually sprayed on. Okay, so I'm going to uh, paint the front portion of the trailer this afternoon. The sun is out, weather looks good, and keeping in mind I don't have like a barn or garage or anything I can paint this in, so everything I do on a lot of this stuff I do outside. So I'm going to end up using Krylon. Uh, it's a International Harvester White, and this is the hardener that you use. So what I found is that it takes about one quart of paint. So this eight ounces of acrylic hardener is sufficient for uh, one gallon. So there's eight ounces, so you're going to use a gallon, four quarts in a gallon. So you're going to need two ounces of this hardener that we're going to put into this paint uh, prior to actually doing our painting. And I got this at, uh, at Walmart, and this little, uh, it's called Anchor Hocking, I guess. It's just a measuring cup, but it's great because it's made of glass, right? Don't buy the plastic ones because once you put that acrylic into a plastic, uh, you'll never get it out. You'll never be able to really clean it up at all. So make sure you get yourself a glass one. So I've got my tape here. I'm going to end up uh, taping. I have plastic. I have a whole roll of this type of plastic. I'm going to go out and I'm just going to use one sheet of 220 sandpaper. So I've already cut this just to make it quicker. These I got at Lowe's. Again, no association to Lowe's. Just happen to like these little uh, uh, plastic uh, containers that they have for rolling on the paint. I'm going to use uh, the smaller rollers actually because they're a little bit easier to get in around the edges especially since the front part of the trailer is rounded. And then to get in the very uh, corners I got a really nice brush so I'll be able to brush that on and uh, is it going to be as good as when I sprayed it? The truth is no it won't be right. It's not going to look as nice but it's going to look pretty darn good to be honest with you. I've done the other three sides doing it exactly the same way as what I'm doing uh, today and it looks absolutely wonderful. So uh, when I'm done doing the front I'll take you around the sides and I'll show you the sides and how they've held up for two and a half years. And then I'm going to show you the top part where I used just a, a different type of paint and uh, it didn't hold up. So if you saw in the first video that I did uh, when I sprayed it, you'll notice that that, that Rust-Oleum that I used had acrylic in it. And the real secret to, uh, to painting these trailers is to make sure that whatever paint you use, it has some type of acrylic hardener in it. If not, if you use just a, a regular type of paint like you'd buy at Lowe's or Home Depot that doesn't have acrylic, I'm going to show you how it ends up, and it's not pretty. The other paint that I've used, the Krylon, uh, that I rolled on the sides have been on the sides now for two and a half years and Holding up just great and uh, I wash it. So I mean the stuff works phenomenally well All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up my paint And I'm going to go ahead and stir this up so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up with two ounces. So two ounces comes to right about there. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my two ounces of acrylic now. And that brings it right up to the top of this can. I'm going to go ahead and mix the rest of this up and we'll take it out to the trailer and start painting. So I don't have a lot of time today, but it's 11 o'clock, exactly 11. 
I'm just going to go ahead, sand this front part real super fast. I'm going to come back, take a piece of paper toweling, put some mineral spirits on it, and wipe it down. bottle here and I'm going to just take some mineral spirits put on this side I really should be wearing gloves I don't have any out here with me today so please make sure that you take precautions when using any type of solvent I don't care what it is unfortunately I just don't have my gloves with me today I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off over top of where my propane tanks are and now I'm going to go ahead go back to my little shop mix up that paint bring it back start painting all right we've got our paint we've got our brush let's start painting To be honest if uh, if I did not know that that was rolled on there I would assume that that was sprayed on you know I mean it came out that nice it really did I went ahead and did the door over here you can see as well so and again that came out nice I mean really nice okay so this side here that you see that was again rolled on two and a half years ago the one up on top, take a look. Unbelievable, right? So that's Rust-Oleum. That's supposed to be for aluminum. Uh, you know, no acrylic in it, I don't think, though, right? Or if there was, very little. I mean, that's two and a half years later. So I'm going to have to re-sand that whole top part. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end up painting all this the same. I've decided repaint the whole thing. But uh, even the fenders, because the fenders are starting to peel as well. But, uh, yeah, you know, for two and a half years, that's not bad. But, uh, and this is just, man, that's just incredible. I mean, that literally looks like I sprayed that on there. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, 
please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that like button. And I hope that I inspired you so that you can inspire others. Because that's what learning is all about. Inspiring others to learn so that they can help themselves. So that we all live in a little better world. This is the Beat Harvest Man, signing off till my next video.